Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be going through everything to do with the KKW under eye situation. There is a three step process that she has come out with working with her makeup artist, Mario, um, which by the way, I saw today on Trend Mood, the pictures of the collaboration that she is doing with Mario. Oh my gosh, that palette with the bright, like kind of neon-y, like neon navy blue, it looks deep in color but it also kind of has a neon quality. Anyway, I love the look of that palette. I am so excited about that. This is a three step system. You can seal, you bake and brighten. So there are three products. You can purchase these as a bundle for $80. You get the concealer, you get the bake, you get the brighten, you get a brush. Or you can purchase these individually for I believe $18-ish a piece. So you can spend the whole 80 bucks, get everything you need. I personally, looking in here, I know I don't like the brush. Um, that's just me, so that wouldn't be something that I would want, but you can purchase individually for $18 a piece. Any which way you wanna go about it, go about it. I like that they're offering individual pricing because that was my one thing back when she launched the contour sticks. I really love them so much, but I was like, man, like who wants to buy the whole kit every single time? What I thought I would do today is do one side of my face with my normal conceal, bake, and brighten because I actually do that very same system myself and I would do one side my way and the other side the Kim Kardashian products and kind of see throughout the day which wears better, which performs better and see if this is something new and fabulous that we really wanna get excited about or if this is just another overhyped product. I'm gonna go in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer right here on this side. Actually, first I need to see if I can find like a match so I'm not wandering around with like two different shades of concealer. So this is the shade 2C, which is light, medium, cool. Hold on, <laughs> let's see if we can find a match. Ooh, why did I think that would be a match? That is nowhere even close. All right, I'm noticing that they do oxidize a little bit pretty quickly. So I'm gonna go with shade number four for the Kim Kardashian side. And then we're just gonna do the uh, shade 2C, light, medium, cool on the Estee Lauder side. So I'm gonna go in and just conceal with a little Estee Lauder. This has just been like my favorite currently. I really, really love this. It is more expensive. This is 28 bucks. Uh, the KKW Beauty is 18 individually. I like to stay underneath the eye for a little bit, really blending and making sure that everything is pressed in and blended perfectly. You don't have to do this. I do spend a lot of time blending in my under eye area. So we're going in. That is pretty full coverage. Like, okay. I feel like this is actually a little more full coverage than my Estee Lauder. They're both looking really nice. This looks like it has a little more coverage in my area that gets a little bit darker right in here. It does say that this is a hydrating concealer that you can use it to highlight. I am gonna go ahead and go down the nose just like a tiny, tiny little bit. I'm actually, I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. Like I keep making this face, the um, but I'm more impressed than I thought I would be. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bake with the light powder. I'm trying to get out of this thing. A duck. I just dropped my sponge on. Okay, I got that open. We need a new sponge though. I'm surprised that I actually really like this. I mean, you guys can see side by side, like there's no, like you can, you can see for yourself, but this is not getting creasy the way a lot of concealers that I try do. Okay, so I managed to crack into the powder. Now we're gonna do the KKW. Ooh, that is a lot more like finely milled than I thought it would be. We're gonna do KKW over here. I'm gonna do my usual go-to with the sponge. I already know I just don't like that brush and I don't like the sponge on that dual ended brush. So I'm not gonna go ahead and use it because I know I won't like it. Um, I've already played around with that plenty and I'm just gonna go ahead and go in. I always like to like really make sure that you pat out any possible little creases, even up to the lash line before you set with powder because you don't wanna set a crease. Oh, shoot. that is a lot whiter than I thought it would be. Okay, this is the light powder. Maybe I should have gone with the medium. It feels very tightening underneath the eye. I'm liking the concealer. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Okay, we're gonna set the nose with this. 
So we're gonna go in on the other side with a little Cody Airspun because that is my normal go-to. I use Extra Coverage Translucent. So while we're here baking, I wanna go over a few things that people have complained about with this packaging. And this packaging on the concealer is very similar to the packaging on the lip glosses. I did a video on those as well, I will link it below. And a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, she jacked Stila's packaging, oh my God, let's all melt down. Um, it is very similar, I will say that. That is correct. It is very similar. However, you know, there's a different color feel to it. That's gonna make the difference. I mean, how many different ways can you really do a compact or, you know, a spray bottle for setting spray? The difference generally is going to be in the design, the logo, what the product is, the texture of the plastic or the doe foot applicator, the colors. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you could also say, Perhaps Stila ripped off YSL. I mean, really, who is the first person to make a design like this for a lip product, eye product, whatever it may be? I don't see anything wrong with this packaging. I think it's beautiful packaging. I actually really, really like it. I'm gonna take my clover brush and just kind of dust away the excess. I honestly can't really tell much of a difference. Can you guys? I can't. I can't really see a big difference. So what I wanna do right now is put on my bronzer, my blush, my highlight, and I like to use a brightener as my last step. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my face and then we will resume, do the brightener as the last bit, and then see how this wears all day long. All right, you guys, so I always have someone come in and help me scoot the camera forward because I don't have an autofocus. It has to actually be like pulled forward to do more of a close up. So I have James right behind here. And I wanted to know, super close up, like let's get even, let's zoom in even more. Which side do you think is better? This side is better. What? It's more coverage. Okay. Your, your, your other side, your left eye, is, it's, not, it's not covered as well. I can see just a, a little bit of- But can you see lines? Brightness. Can you see lines? Let's get even closer. Come on, extreme close-up. You guys, I've literally climbed on top of my table to do this close-up, so please appreciate the under eye area. I think they look very, very similar. I think they look almost the same, but I do see a little more coverage right in here. Yeah, that's, where, that's what I'm saying. Okay, well, I guess we just now see uh, how long this shiz wears. Oh, I need to put the brightening powder on. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. All right, let's sit back down. Thank you, James and wave goodbye. You guys, I'm really shocked right now. I was really ready to be very, very critical and not like to go out of my way and be mean about the product or like make it up that I don't like it because I never do that. That is just something that I feel like what goes around comes around and playing that game is just never good. And a lot of people do that. They will bash a product for views. It happens all the time. Or on the flip side, they will love on a product for views and favor. And I just don't even care. Like I am so done with that. I'm so done with events and brand trips. I'm over them. I am just here to give you guys my thoughts. So uh, I am shocked that I like this side a little bit more. I think they do look very similar. I do wanna see how this wears all day long, of course, um, but we do have to set everything with the brightening powder. Now, what I like to do personally is I like to do my bronzer, my highlight, my blush, and then I like to go in with a brightening powder and just grab like a little bit on a brush, tap off some of that excess, and I will go on top and almost down a little bit over the blush sometimes. I just think it really smooths everything out, gives like a very nice brightened look in the center of the face. I know that Scott Barnes does this technique. Obviously Mario uses this technique. I know Lipstick Nick, I have peeped in on some of her stuff. She does this technique and it's a really nice thing to just bring brightness to the center of the face and also to just add a veil of smoothness on top of your bronzer and blush. It just does something. It's one of those extra little steps that really, I feel, makes a big difference. So for the other side of my face, I am going to use, this is the diamond powder, and this is in the shade light, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on this side. 
I am really loving my makeup today, and I have to say I like that both under eye situations are matching and that you can't really tell. There's just minor differences, but I do wanna see how this wears all day, so I'm gonna go and vlog a bit, do some check-ins, and we will regroup at the very end of the day and see which side wore better, which had more longevity, which creased, if any creases happen, and yeah, that's where we're at. So I will see you guys in just a little bit. All right, you guys, my brows are crazy strong right now. I know I was playing with another product that I actually filmed about uh, that went up yesterday and I'm finally sitting down. It's about 7.30 at night right now. Oh, bye! It's 7.30 at night right now and my concealer has not creased on either side. That is a huge win. I do have to say like doing a side by side, I see a slight difference in coverage and brightness on the Kim Kardashian side. Now, everyone that I have talked to, my mom's in town, I was like, which side do you like? And she likes this side and she had no idea what I was reviewing. My stepson said the same thing. He kind of like rolled his eyes and was like, uh, this side. I don't know. I mean, I don't really know what I think. You guys tell me, do you see a difference? All right, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, I definitely will be up later tonight, so I'll do a check-in again in a few hours. You look super cute today. Thank you. Tell me what your outfit of the day is. We both want to know. These are diesel jeans. Oh, wow, you're really doing it. <laughs> this is a hot chili's, this is a hot I love chili's it. Uh, thermal. Nice. And these shoes are uh, all birds. It's and a, those shoes new, are the shoe most comfortable shoes in, in the, the world. world. In the world, what we think Puka in the world. All right, you guys, we've made it to the very end of the day and I have gathered up my thoughts. I have broken down some of the pricing and I know exactly what I wanna share with you. So looking at the entire kits that they sell for $80, where you get all three products, the concealer, the bake, the brighten, and you get two brushes, which are right here, which I did not use today because I just, I don't like these brushes that much. So what I'm gonna recommend to you guys is don't buy the kit. In my opinion, I just don't think it's worth the money when you can buy each individual item for $18. Now the concealer, I actually really, really like. It did not crease, which is my number one like must have in a concealer and almost every concealer that I try, like immediately it creases on me and I'm just like, next. Out. And the only ones that I really, really love give me that kind of flattened out look underneath my eye. The double wear is $28, the Kim Kardashian is $18. But if you break it down gram by gram, you are paying $4.11 per gram with the double wear. You are paying $3.91 per gram with the Kim K concealer. So you're paying about 20 cents less per gram. Work it out how you want. This one to me works better than my double wear, so I'm gonna keep using it. I'm gonna play around with different powders, which brings me to my next thing. All right, you guys, I am die hard for the Cody Airspun. This is the one that I keep going back to. You know, I've tried out everything from La Mer to La Prairie. This is the one that I always come back for more. Like I just, I keep it front and center on my vanity. It's like $6. You can pick it up at Walmart. And if you don't want to spend $18 on the KKW bake powder, you can easily get something like this. The set I think is also really amazing and I am going to play around with it. It is super brightening. It's it definitely minimizes pores. I would be curious to use this uh, more so on my face as well and not just under the eyes. So I'm gonna keep playing with this, but I wanted to give you guys an option that will work just as well. Now, this under eye brightener, this one I get that it's in there and I like that it's in there because I personally think that this is an amazing step to have in your makeup routine for that very finished glam look. But if you do not have $18 to spend on this one, I wanna give you guys some options. This right here from S is pretty much the same. You get so much more product and it is $3.99. They really come out about the same and there you have it. I did also use today my Winky Luxe. Again, you get about double the product in here as you do the Kim K and it is around the same price. So there you have it. I think these items are actually really good. I don't think you need all of them. I don't think you need to spend $80 on the whole big kit. I think you can definitely cut corners if you need to and just pick up the concealer. If you wanna pick up the concealer and one more, I would say concealer and brightening powder. And if you wanna pick up all three, they're great but I do think there are other options as far as the brightening powder out there and of course the bake. The concealer, however, really impressed me. It's the right kind of coverage. I don't like things that are like too 
thick and heavy because that can crease on me and this didn't crease. I mean, you can see it underneath my eyes. It did not crease. So it hits that like high note for me as far as performing well as a concealer. Um, yeah, but we're gonna leave it at that. I'm like losing my voice. I've been chasing after Puka. My mom's in town. We've been laughing and clearly I've been laughing too much because my voice has just kind of like left the building. So I'm gonna go. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know that you did by hitting the thumbs up button. I love you guys so much and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.